Morning guys, let's talk motivation. So on Sunday, I climbed Mount Snowden with some family members and some friends. At the end of the mountain, uh, some hours later, um, yeah, it was a challenge, legs were sore, and uh, yeah, it felt, felt fantastic, right? It was, it was a challenge, it, it really was. It was harder than I thought as well. And there was a conversation that took place during during the climb between my partner and my daughter Mary and she said you know just when we finish this we're going to be buzzing like we're going to feel amazing once we've overcome this challenge and we got to the top and it got me thinking about motivation a little bit in terms of this is something which it can feel like it escapes us we look back and we think oh I've been motivated in the past and that's got me a certain result and that's what I need to get that result once again. And on one level, you can understand why that would be the case because we've linked the motivation and, and the result. But also, maybe that's not actually true sometimes. Maybe it's never true. Let's have that conversation based upon a reflection of another conversation. Because when we got down to the bottom, we did feel amazing. Uh, it was really hard and the reward of achieving that goal, which I've never climbed that mountain before. I'm looking forward to maybe doing something like that in the future. It's, it's a great experience and built my confidence in terms of my leg. And uh, it, was a, it was a great, great weekend. So what Emma said was, when we get to the end of this, we'll be, we'll be buzzing. We'll be really happy and we'll, be, uh, you know, we'll get that sense of accomplishment. And it's the same when we're looking at motivation. Often when we think we need motivation, the reality is that we need to achieve a goal in order to motivate ourselves to achieve more. So it's... You feel great once you finish the mountain. You might not feel great going up it. I mean, I didn't. It was harder than I thought it would be. And then it got a little bit easier. Then it was a little bit harder. And then it was really cold. And, you know, it was, it, it, it was a journey. It was a five and a half hours of, of, of challenge. And, uh, you know, the reward was equal to the challenge. That's, that's another consideration. But if you're looking to increase your motivation and that's something which feels like it's a, a stumbling block perhaps you'll get the motivation once you get where you want to be now how can we as well as take that on board but what can we do going forward to use this it's like well just imagine how you're gonna think and feel once you've achieved the goal like my emma did with mary just focus on that like borrow it from the future. One thing's for sure, it's very easy for us to be a bit doom and gloom about what may or may not happen, only for it not to happen. Or it's easy for us to think of, you know, maybe we've put the weight on in the past, maybe we've been in the right frame of mind. Maybe, like I said before, we can reflect and we can, it can bring us down or lift us up right now. Well, you know, if you want motivation, then take it. Take it from your previous successes, take it from your future successes, but that motivation's within you. It can't come from outside of us, at least not for the long term. You can borrow it. It must be said, you can borrow it. You can have the confidence, certainty and consistency in a proven plan that works. Like, absolutely, that's something that you can... That, that might not be motivation, but it might keep you towards knowing that you're going to get the goal. But then that's... The motivation isn't then the problem. It's not having the consistency, the certainty and... The confidence that, that that that's a little bit different. So, yeah, motivation is a huge subject. We could I could talk about a lot of these subjects all day. I hope that's helped. Love to hear your thoughts, and I'll see you tomorrow.